Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for making your way into the gym promptly today. As I said by the announcements this morning, Mr. Sudorko needs to address you today. For those of you who have been following the news of late, you will be aware of the budgetary pressures that exist around all schools, and Maris is not immune to those. It's important that as a student body, you are informed and you are well aware of how that is going to affect you. I'd now like to introduce Mr. Sudorko. Make him welcome, please. Uh, boys and staff, thank you very much. And of course, you'd all be aware of the fact that whenever we have an extraordinary type of assembly as today is, given that we normally don't meet on a Monday, that it's always because there is uh, a reason for that. And as Sir said, one of the things we always try to do at the college is to try to inform people in the community, particularly the boys and staff, about anything that might be occurring. So as Sir said during the uh, introduction and earlier before recess of the announcements, you know, I think all of us would be aware of the fact that there's been this uh, fairly extensive talk about reducing funding and people wrongly, wrongly, particularly the media, who are no great friends of our school, particularly the media has really pounced on the fact that we are a so-called elite school. Well, we're not an elite school. And I've told you that before. We aren't a school that has people coming from the richest suburbs of the world. We've got people who work very hard to have you here, your parents work very hard, so that you can get a Catholic schooling in the Maris way. But unfortunately, there are things in place now, and the Act of Parliament's been made, despite the work of a lot of people, an Act of Parliament's now been made that we, we have to have our re funding reduced. Now, it's not funny, boy. <laughs> I was hoping <laughs> very upset with Mr. Green. <laughs> I'm very upset because this is a very serious announcement. <laughs> and it's serious because I have to tell you that I have always tried to do my best at college. And today, <laughs> there weren't 1,500 people here I'm calling you. And today, I've decided that for the good of the school and hopefully being able to contribute to the ongoing uh, budgetary pressures that we're going to be confronted. I will do my bit by standing down today as headmaster and handing what balance of my salary is still to be paid, I will give that to the fund to make sure our budget is uh, kept at a decent level. So with that, farewell. Thank you. Mr. Greer, welcome to your tape. Come on. We got, we got. Get him a car. Get him a car. Let's go, go. Stop. Any last word? I'm vegan.
Uh, well, with that, we better welcome our uh, new headmaster of the stage. Welcome, Mr. Greer, please. Thank you, boys. That takes care of that. I think it's pretty clear. Due to the impact of the financial cuts that Mr. Sadorko is speaking about, the school will be put into lockdown mode. So be prepared for changes. Changes in the coming week to do with the canteen, to do with sport, to do with uniform and year 12 end of year activities as well. I'll be taking over the reins until at least next year when we have our headmaster who might be coming in. <laughs> I will make Maris great again. <laughs> but obviously, being the headmaster of Maris means that I'm stepping up, so we need to appoint some new people into some positions. So I need to appoint a deputy, an enforcer, a mature and intelligent individual, and that individual is Nick Gale. <laughs> now Nick is obviously very busy today doing paperwork. And so in place of Nick, we have the deputy to the deputy, Ben Perkins. Ben and I are pretty much on the same page with everything. And now, I know this might seem a little bit coming out of nowhere, but believe me, boys, we do have your interests at heart. And to make things a bit easier, each boy will receive one Zuba Duba at lunch. <laughs> Consider it a transition gift to the new order. I'll introduce our captains now. I think they've got a few words to say. Uh, good afternoon. You know what, boys? We've been given a script of what to say, but this is, this is absolute nonsense. We need some democracy here. And without Mr Sudorko, I'm afraid we're the only ones that can deliver it. Come on, we're leaving. to the school. That. Should work. Oh, 
Harry, you check downstairs. Jason, Harry, upstairs. We'll try to come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's Shams? I don't know, he must be a rugby trainee. Whatever, come on. This is now Nick Gale's office. Mr. Greer has moved to his new office across the hall. That's the door guy's office. Whoa, look at all the donuts he's been boarding. And the super doopers. Wanna try one? No worries. Let me tell oh. you all the story oh. about oh. Ralph. He's got plans written up for the school already. Check this out. He's replaced all the photos. Did you hear that? What was that? What's that sound? I don't know. You ready? What the? Joe? Dad wanted me to give this to you. Thanks, mate. Help. I'm... I'm so sorry. Sorry, mate. Alright, what have we got? We found this. How about you guys? Oh, I better took a photo of this. Well, we found this. We need to figure out what's on it. Let's go to the IT room. Hey! No running in the corridors, boys! Golf, Romeo, Echo, Echo, Romeo. Oh, okay. In that case, come in, boys. Harry, USB. Yeah, let's have a look at it. Oh, Blue Reef. Sir, I keep getting blue reefed. Can you oh, help me out? God. You just give it to me. All right, let's go, guys. I see what I. Wow, got it. Not getting there. Oh look, that's great. Oh, fantastic. Oh look, wait, I've got in. Synergetic. Eat your heart out. Here you go. Fixed it. Thank Hope that you. works. What's up, boys? Coming at you live from the dirty. Looks like it's empty on this fine afternoon, so it's time for a tutorial on how to do some skids. No skids in the dirty! Looks like the red man's ruined our fun for today, but don't worry guys, there'll be plenty more tutorials to come. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out dudes. There's got to be something useful on here. Gail? Cancel my two o'clock. Is it serious? Red alert, Gail. It's a disaster. One eternity later. Perfect. There's got to be something useful on here. Matt, show us Alessandro. If you're seeing this, it means that something's gone horribly wrong. Don't panic. I have everything under control. But to get things back to normal, you must find the guru. Follow the yellow brick road. We are not in Kansas anymore. Sid's the Come on, let's get out of here. Who's been eating the donuts? Someone's been in here.
Boys are very upset. He's very upset. <laughs> I'm not going to stand for it. He's not going to stand for it at all. It's this sort of hooliganism, this delinquency. If this is going to continue to occur, I'm going to be forced to take immediate action. And that could result in your suffering and potential discontentment. You tell him, Ben. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, the Murray boys? <laughs> now, you know what? I've had enough of the captain setting a bad example, Ben. Assemble the squad. Let this be a warning to all of you. What will happen if you step out of line from now on? <clears throat> well gone! Gilly! Clark! Eugene! What is this place? Looks alright. I know. I think we should ring the doorbell. Are you the guru? Why, yes, I am. Mr. Sadorka sent us to see you. Do you have anything for us? I've been expecting. That's great, but do you have anything for us? Yes, I do. Take a swig. Listen, it's a nice shop you got in. Do you share something with a powerful tool? Just relax, alright? I haven't seen them. I, I don't know where they are. Get them, boys! Woo! Where'd he go? Buongiorno, buongiorno, Alessandro. Padrino, i miei viaggi mi hanno portato a te Per far ritornare, signor Sidorco, che devo fare? Caro, gli facciamo un'offerta che non può rifiutare Però adesso che devo fare io? Alessandro, devi trovare dei gemelli Ok, grazie, prego Grazie Alessandro
full up was a dead end, wasn't it? What are you gonna do? Nah, uh, Netflix and chill. Sounds good to me. But just the movie. What's my favourite? What was his name? Bet you it was Ricky. Probably. Guys, what are you doing? Us? Where the hell have you been? Look, that doesn't matter. Come with me. I know who to call. Is this thing on? No. Yeah, it's on. Okay. Guys, we've been hiding out in the toilet all day. The school has just gone to chaos. We don't know what It's to a do. mess. Mr. Greer has destroyed the school. Flush. Okay. Let's go. Patrick, I know, you look good. Sean. Oh, hey guys, look. Look what they've made us do. We have to tuck everything in. Oh, it's a disgrace. We need your help. I mean, that's just the start of it. Mr. Greer, the propaganda he's put around the school, it's just... Oh, I've had towers. I mean, I mean, you just gotta see it. Come on, Patrick, let's go. I mean, even in the corridors, he's, he's got it everywhere. Boys, that's the biggest load of rubbish I've ever heard. Is Mr. Greer trying to brainwash the school? What else has been going on? Have any of the budget cuts come into play yet? School is deteriorating because of the budget cuts. I mean, look, they've even got noodles in the roof. And... and come over here, come on. Look, they've cut the electricity. It doesn't even work now. I know. And that's not even the worst of it. Look, Connor Smith got captain. No, 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 Liam. I think that always happens. Oh, okay. A anyway, right. look. Even his thugs are teaching in classrooms. Good morning, y'all. I'm your substitute teacher, Mr. Garvey. Let's take a roll. Is there a B? Bradley. Ah, uh, do you mean Bradley? Oh, so that's how it's going to be, is it? I got my eyes on you, B. Bradley. Is there a Pranish? Is there a Pranish in this classroom? Pranesh. Uh, it's Pranesh. You done messed up, Pranesh! Get your butt down in this G Hell's office! Don't even miss a gazel. God damn it, Pranesh! Get out of my classroom! It's boarded! Churlish! Oh yeah, Mart, I going up in the ranks. Hey, I heard something about Zupa Dupas. I think you boys need to go and check out the science labs. Canteen prices are doubling every day. The only thing that you can buy is a Zupa Duper, which costs five cents. Kids are filling up on raspberry Zupa Dupas. Wait, Pat, what was that?
Okay, I think the coast is clear. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not sure. Um, no. Look, um, Fallen just knows too much. He's becoming a liability. He has to be taken care of. What are you boys doing out here? Nothing, Mrs. Spence. That's Dr. Spence. Quick, guys, find Fallen. Boys. Boys. It's just cut out. Looks like vacation's over. We need to get back to school right now. Okay, Brad, so you're interested in improving your ATAR estimate. Oh, that's correct, yes. Yeah, okay, well, look, I've got a few options for you here. My personal favourite is this top one. It's very reasonably priced. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I have one little question with it. Um, would there be any negotiation on the price? Yeah, well, we, we could look at that and we could put it up a bit. Oh. Um, How would that suit you? Uh, the $10 will be fine. Okay, so that buys you one answer. Okay. Okay? Thanks, sir. How's that? And that's, that's very well. Right. Ah, Seamus. Glad you arrived. I've got just the deal for you. You'll be needing this. So, we've got a big problem. We got told to come to you. Can you help us? I've got some information for you here. What the hell's this? It's up to you to join the dots. John, back at it again with the wellies. <laughs>
Go and take back my office. You're on your own. Reckon we got a shot. Look, I think that's a job well done. Should probably go and uh, stop here now, hey? You think I'm going to just let you stop me? <laughs> I've got one last surprise for you. Don't you get it? Don't you understand what's going on? If we can't save the school from the budget cuts, I'd rather the school be destroyed. So in 23 days, the school's going to be a pile of rubble because we can't fill this $90,000 hole that we have. Sir, it's never going to work. We can stop it. That's the best part, boys. The only way to shut it off is by putting $90,000 into a school account. You want to save the school? Save the budget first. Mr. Green, what are you doing? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I just couldn't bear the thought of having a school without you, Richard. My Richard. <laughs> you know, uh, I've uh, never wanted to be uh, the headmaster. Uh, how could I possibly do morning announcements in the memorare from your office? It's all right, Mr. Greer, I'm back now. Now turn off the bomb. I can't, I can't. The only way to do it is to fill the budget hole. I'm so sorry. I think we need, uh, we might need a bit of it. And you say you belong to me And lose my mind Imagine how the world could be So very fine So happy together
This year we haven't got any crazy ideas on how to raise money. We know our only choice is the walkathon. But this year, we're not just raising our $90,000 to support our main focuses, which are the Brother Mark May Bursary Fund, which is used to help students within our community who would otherwise not have the opportunity to receive the Marist education. The ACT Young Carers, which provides unpaid care and support to family members and friends who have a disability, a mental illness, a terminal illness, an alcohol or drug related issue, or a frail and aged. Community Meals, a new program involving students and members of our Marist family, cooking nutritious meals for needy families within the Canberra community. And finally, the Marist 180 Youth Care Project, which works closely with young adolescent refugees who've had to flee their homelands for fear of persecution. We are also racing against time to save the school. If we can't get $60 from each boy or $80 from a family, you can say goodbye to Marist. Everyone has to get their pledge sheets filled out. We'll even give you a raffle ticket for every $10 you raise to win some incredible prizes. But unless we can get this money raised, it's all over. <clears throat> now boys, this launch wouldn't be possible without the tireless work of the writers who came up with this script. Can we give them a round of applause? Also, to the staff and boys who gave incredible acting performances, can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> to the AV boys up the back who organised our sound and lighting to make sure that this ran smoothly, can we also give them a round of applause? <laughs> but most importantly, without all our filming and editing crew, especially the hours put in by Nick Redman, who was pretty much the backbone and the reason that this was something that was so successful. So can we please give them a massive round of applause. Thank you very much and we hope that we can raise that $90,000. Thank you very much.